hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time stopping by here you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber a video hug to you guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to burn your body fat in three days so if you've been looking for ways to burn your body fat be it your belly fat your arm fat your thigh fat and your overall body fat then look no further because in this video i'm going to show you guys how to do that some of the reasons why i love this remedy is that it contains thermogenic food and if you don't know what thermogenic food means i'm going to explain to you guys what, thermog what thermogenic food means in a layman's language Thermogenic foods are foods that have the ability to make your metabolism run faster and also make you to burn fat faster. So once you're consuming food that makes you burn your fat faster, then of course you know you're on, your, you're on the road to losing weight. And so the ingredients I use for this remedy has a lot of thermogenic foods in it, so which, is, which of course makes this remedy a very wonderful and fantastic and re a wonderful and fantastic recipe for weight loss. Another reason why I really love this remedy is that it suppresses your appetite and makes you feel fuller so you get this up this remedy makes you not to get hungry a lot because once your appetite is suppressed your tendency of getting hungry has been reduced and another thing it does is that it also makes you feel fuller so you don't get eat um, meals in between so once you have your break once you have this drink it doesn't make you eat in between meals you know sometimes the junk food we eat in between our lunch and um, bread, dinner is what actually makes us to look them um, to add weight so this remedy actually makes you feel fuller and also suppresses your appetite so these are the two reasons why I really love this um why I really love this remedy so if if you're looking for how to lose belly fat or lose your body weight or body fat this remedy is a must have and a must um drink or a must do you really need this and like i always say whilst you're trying to lose weight i'm going to give you guys a disclaimer things you should put into consideration make sure you don't have your dinner once it's past 7 p.m p.m also find time to exercise so just look for any form of exercise you um you enjoy doing if you like running whichever whichever form of exercise you love to do just try to do it exercise is not only good for it's not only effective for it's not only um useful for losing weight exercise actually helps to keep our body intact makes us free from every form of sickness and diseases so it's actually advisable to exercise even if you're not trying to lose weight but if you're personally trying to lose weight then of course you need to exercise and stay out of sugary things stay out of drinks that have sugar in them stay out of coke stay out of anything that actually has processed sugar because processed sugar actually makes us to add weight consuming ordinary sugar like sugar adding sugar to your tea and all that isn't reasonable but consuming processed sugar that is in your drinks like in your um juice and all that it actually makes us fatter even consuming junks and all that so if you're trying to lose weight make sure you reduce your intake of junks because this will make you to add so much weight and it will make you break out so this is an additional tips so since i've told you guys all the things you need to stay off from if you're trying to lose your body weight your body fat i'll go right ahead to show you guys this remedy but if you're not subscribed to my channel yet please don't forget to do so click on the red subscribe button down below this video Right beside the subscribe button, you're going to find a notification bell icon. Click beside it. That will be notified each time there is a new upload on this channel. If you find this video educative, informative, don't hesitate to smash the like button. And if you know anyone who is trying to lose weight, then of course share this video to that person. Let's get right into this video. Our first ingredient for this remedy is honey. Honey is a natural antibacterial, so it is great for acne treatment and prevention. It is also filled with antioxidant properties that help slow down the aging process and is extremely moisturizing and soothing. So it helps create a glow on the skin. So this is our first ingredient and I've told you guys the benefit of honey. I'm going to show you guys our next ingredient. Our second ingredient is cinnamon powder. Cinnamon is rich in antioxidant polyphenol that give a boost to the immune system. Its antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal properties help reduce the chances of developing various health hazards. So this is our cinnamon powder, and I've told you guys the benefit of cinnamon powder. I'm going to show you guys our next ingredients. Our third and final ingredient is ginger. Ginger has been used to help digestion, reduce nausea, and help fight the flu and common cold. Ginger can be used fresh, dried, powdered, and is sometimes added to processed foods. Ginger oil is the main active ginger oil is the main bioactive com compound in ginger and responsible for much of its medicinal properties. So this is our ginger and I'll tell you guys the benefit. And so these are all the three ingredients we need for this remedy. I'm going to start out to start mixing this all up together. 
So guys, I'm going to start off with my ginger. I have peeled and I've washed my ginger. So the next thing I'm going to do is to create my ginger. So I'm going to create that ASAP. So after creating, what I did was to transfer it into this bowl and added a bit of water and allowed it to sit for about um, 10 minutes. So this I'm going to do now is to strain this because all we need from this is the juice from the um, ginger. So I'm going to get a clean bowl and then strain this out. So once my ginger um, juice is ready, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to show you guys the process you need to, um, I'm going to show you guys how to mix these other ingredients all up together. So I'm going to set this aside and show you guys the rest of the remedy. This is a glass of um, hot water and in my glass of hot water, I'm going to add half tablespoon of my cinnamon powder. So this is half tablespoon of my cinnamon powder going into my hot water. Cinnamon actually takes time to dissolve into water, so you can as well um, put this on your cooker and allow it to cook so it can actually settle properly. But doing this as well is fine, just that it takes time to settle in properly, so you might as well give it a very good and nice stir. So I'm going to take my time to stir this all up together. So just stir and stir and the more reason you need to use hot water is because of the cinnamon if not if not because of the cinnamon i can as well use cold water but if you want your cinnamon to be completely settled you need to make use of a very hot water so that the cinnamon can be properly settled into the water so i'm stirring this immediately because i don't want the water to um get um cold or get cooler than it is so that the cinnamon will settle properly immediately so i need to stir this before i add the rest of the ingredients and once you've um, stirred and you've, you notice that your cinnamon is completely settled, then you can go ahead and add the rest of your ingredients. So my cinnamon is completely settled into the water, so I'm going to go back to add the um, second ingredient. The next thing I'm going to do is to add one tablespoon of my ginger water, my ginger juice. So this is one tablespoon of my ginger juice. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of my honey. And so this is one teaspoon of my honey. Honey is going to sweeten this. It's going to give it a very good taste. As you guys know, honey is a sweetener. So I'm going to add that. And once I've added that, then I'm going to give this a final stir. So make sure you stir this properly. And if you're not going to be taking it immediately, whenever you want to take it, you need to stick over and stir it again because the, um, the cinnamon is going to get settled in the water. So if you're not going to be taking it immediately, Whenever you're ready to take it, make sure you stir it over again so that the ingredients can um, come up again and mix together properly. Because once you're not taking, once you leave a drink for some time, you notice the ingredient go down and settles underneath the um, the drink. So make sure you stir it once you're ready to um, take the drink. So at this point, this drink is ready to be taken. Um, I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to sip it. I hope I'll be able to show you guys on camera when I'm sipping it. But at this point, this ingredient, this remedy is ready to be taken. So I'm going to set it aside. Okay, so that is how to make that remedy which is very easy to make so guys whenever you're making a remedy and it entails using cinnamon make sure you use a very hot water because cinnamon doesn't get diffused in warm water or in um ordinary water you have to use a very hot water in order to um in order for cinnamon to get diffused properly you don't have to consume it immediately you can still allow it to cool down before having it but of course once it's cooled down and you want to have it you need to stir it again in order for, um, for the cinnamon to properly circulate very because cinnamon settles down after a while so for you to have this drink you need to have two glasses of this drink every day one glass in the morning and another glass at night time so the first glass is supposed to be taken first thing in the morning on an empty stomach so it's supposed to be the first thing you take before having your breakfast and after having this drink you need to wait for about 30 to 1 hour before having your breakfast and at night time this is supposed to be the last thing you take at night time and consuming this drink at night time helps to reduce your food craving so it helps to reduce the extra food you want to eat after you must have, have your after you must have had your dinner so having this drink at night time helps you to uh, burn down the 
fat you've accumulated during the course of the day. So the fat you've had um, in the morning, in the, heart, in the in the morning, in the afternoon, and also at night time, this drink can help you to burn all of that, all of those fats. So that's how to make this drink, and that's also how to consume it. Like I always say, once you're having a weight loss um drink, don't forget to exercise, eat at the right time and um, eat appropriately and stay out of any food or drink that contains processed sugar. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already. Please do so by clicking on the red subscribe button down below this video. Right beside the subscribe button, you need to find the notification bell icon. Click on it, that will be notified each time a new video comes up on my channel. If you enjoyed watching this video or this video has been educative and entertaining and informative to you, of course, don't hesitate, of course don't hesitate to smash the like button. And if you know anyone who is trying to lose weight, don't hesitate to share this video to that person because of course sharing is caring. Until I come your way next time, I mean your host, Ogochuku. Bye guys!